Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the process of putting together my light tubes that are bringing light down into my root cellar or my fallout shelter. I hope it's always just a root cellar, but it could be a fallout shelter also, and independent of what the use is, the light tubes will bring nice light cheery brightness into that space even if the power goes out they'll keep working and you know keep it from turning like black as a pit from pole to pole down in there and turn it into a nightmare so i'm going to be uh, going over the process of what i'm doing to create those light tubes at the end of this video but first i want to make sure that you guys all know that this saturday august 31st at midnight of that night eastern standard time uh, the doors are going to be closing to be in the first wave of people to get that bug out card game. The bug out card game is a card game uh, that I created as a way of helping to try to share uh, prepping and emergency preparedness you know, with people that you care about in your life in a way that doesn't seem frightening to them if they're kids and doesn't make you look crazy if they're adults. It's just a, it's a fun card game that gets people thinking in that kind of preparedness mindset. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, share with you the informational video about that at the end of this video, all the way at the end. Uh, but if you are interested in being in the first wave of people to get that card game shipped out because it is happening. It's fully funded. Uh, if you want to be in that first wave of people, the doors for that close this Saturday, August 31st, midnight Eastern Standard Time. Uh, after that, I mean, don't worry if you don't get into that first batch of people, you can still, you'll still be able to get it. I, I don't know exactly when, but it is going to be available through the Prescott Caliber Club website at some point, you know, probably pretty soon, but, uh, you know, I just don't know exactly when. So uh, if you want to be in that first group of people, August 31st, this Saturday, at midnight, uh, you know, hop in and you can put it in order and you'll be in the first batch of people to get that card game out. Again, I'll, I'll have a video at the end of this video about, you know, what that, uh, you know, what that card game is all about if you're not sure. So anyway, well, we're working on these light tubes. I've been uh, kind of coming up with the approach on how to do these sort of from scratch. I mean, I know roughly how a light tube works. It's, it's a bunch of mirrored surfaces inside. It brings light down, you know, through walls or in this case underground. And I've kind of come up with my own approach and I'm using these four inch conduit, not the biggest conduit uh, around, but one of the reasons that I have them a little bit more narrow is if it, the root cellar was ever used as a fallout shelter, I wanted to kind of limit the amount of angle for particles, you know, energized particles, radiation, uh, getting in there. So I've, I've got it coming in at, um, you know, in these four inch tubes and it kind of bends underground using some uh, geometrical shielding uh, to try to keep, you know, energized particles from going in. So I'm going with these. They're going to have some mylar, uh, which is a very reflective, like mirror-like plastic uh, surface on the inside. Uh, and the, the bends have some, you know, a, a mirrored material on there as well. And I'm going to be capping, this is what comes out of the ground. I'm going to be capping it off with this. This is just a regular four inch uh, ABS coupling. So you see it just kind of slides right onto the top like that. And what I'm using on the very top is this. I was looking for like Pyrex dishes. I didn't want to buy like brand new. I went to a thrift store and I found these and they're these pretty sturdy, I don't know if they're like ashtrays or what, but I got a bunch of them. I, they actually had exactly the number I needed, five. Uh, and I'm going to be putting these right on the top. I've got these all nice and cleaned off, soap and water, got that nice and clean, this surface nice and clean. And I'm going to be using silicone uh, to, uh, attach the two together. I did a test of one earlier today. It worked pretty well. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right here. So first, I'm just going to get a bead of silicone right across the top. There. Oh, it, this thing clogged up a little. Let me, uh, what do I get to kind of clean it off? I guess my finger. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's already off to a sloppy start, but we'll recover. Here we go. All right. So we're going to do a bead of silicone right across the top here. And I'm, I want to do like kind of a healthy bead, but not too much because anyone that works with silicone caulk, you know that, uh, it, I, by the way, I'm not going to be making any puns in this video. There are going to be zero caulk puns in this video. Um, yeah, but anyone that works with silicone caulk knows that it can get pretty messy if you start touching it. And, uh, man, I think I already have some puns going on here. Uh, but. Yeah, I can like, uh, you know, be stretching everywhere. You get these little strings and strands and things. Okay, so we got all the way around. So I want to be pretty minimal. I'm going to take what I have on my finger and just wipe it on there. Just get it out of my face. All right, and now we're going to take the dish. And I'm going to very carefully just drop it right down on the top. Kind of keep it centered. Uh, I don't have very steady hands. It wouldn't work well in bomb diffusal, I don't think. It, 
if it's like what it looks like in the movies. All right, there we go. All right, and what I did last time, it seemed to work pretty well, just kind of like uh, make everything homogenous, is I'm just going to kind of give it a little twist around. Again, keeping it nice and centered while I do the twist. And that seemed to just sort of spread everything out in a nice, even fashion. And smooth it a little. Ooh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's hard to keep it centered on every axis. You look at one side and then you lose another. Okay, but that seems like it's pretty good. It's all smoothed around and I'm just going to let that cure just like that. And uh, uh, the reason that I'm putting it on this coupling instead of uh, directly onto the tube is if these things break, it's nice because I'll be able to just take it right off, get a new coupling. These are just a couple bucks and then make a new kind of whatever that goes on the top. It would also give me the opportunity to experiment with different tops. This is just clear plastic, uh, I mean, no, it's clear glass, and the idea is the sun will come in and I'll have some of the mirrored material, the mirrored mylar, up through here and it'll just kind of bounce down through the tube and everything. But maybe I want to experiment later with something that kind of sticks up a little bit more, maybe as like a funnel shape or like a solar oven where like, you know, the mirrors kind of flange out on the sides. I don't know. Uh, the idea is that I want to be able to experiment a little bit and having it be modular and I can take them off is going to help me do that. So that's it. Again, if you are interested in getting in the first batch of people to get that new bug out card game, I'm really excited. Uh, I guess I'll be the first person to receive them when they come in, but you'll be, you know, I'll be sending them all out to you guys. If you want to be in that first group, again, links down below, kickstarter.com slash something, 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 you can get in on that. Um, but again, if you miss, even if you miss that deadline, you'll still be able to get it at some point. It's just, I don't know exactly when, but, uh, you know, it's, there's no false urgency that's like, get it now or it's never going to be available again. You'll be able to get a copy if you want to. But if you want to be first, kickstarter.com slash something, something, something down below. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. One of the primary driving missions of my preparedness channel has always been to try to help people by sharing knowledge and experience. I feel this way about people at large that I don't even know that I've never met, but even more so for my family, where I'm always trying to help keep them safe to protect them, and beyond that, to try to teach them to protect themselves. As a dad, I'm always looking for opportunities to share my knowledge about preparedness with my boy, and I do that in a number of ways. You know, as simple as just when a topic comes up, discussing it with him, we'll go hiking, we'll go camping. When it comes to preparedness, I always try to explain to my boy what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But whatever the approach is to sharing these lessons, I've always found that they work better and he pays attention more if it's fun and it's engaging. I try to do that with my YouTube channel as well. I try to keep things funny and I try to keep them light. What are the kids today calling it up? Uh, splitting the wood. No one calls it that the wood anymore, anymore, Dad. I did that with the Alien Invasion series with the science fiction element and trying to keep it interesting and dramatic. That's not a good sound. I'm just gonna move out it. Okay, we'll do this later. Flipping that off. Holy shit. And now I'm doing it again with a new card game that I'm calling Bug Out. Bug Out is a fun way to share ideas related to emergency preparedness and wilderness survival skills with your family and especially with the kids in your life. The entire structure of the gameplay fosters values such as preparing for hazards, saving up for the future, balancing potential risks, and striving past obstacles. And in addition to this, almost every card in the deck has its own unique preparedness or survival tip related to what's going on in the game. I also designed the game to be super easy to learn and anyone can play it without having to learn a huge pile of intricate rules, and I took a lot of time with the artwork to make the cards look great and grab kids' attention. Essentially, play breaks down into the mindset that there's been an emergency situation, there are problems, and there are solutions, and your goal is to manage both of those things while you're pushing forward towards success. That's a lesson that's useful in an emergency situation, but also just in normal day-to-day -day life. If a game like this sounds like something that you might be interested in giving to your kid, grandkid, or anyone in your life that you think would benefit from a little extra prepper mindset, then here's how you can help to make this into a reality and be able to share that gift with whomever you had in mind. The good news is the card game, the packaging, everything is all set and ready to go. My goal has always been to have it ready for the holiday season this year, so if you have people in your life that you think would benefit from these sorts of survival and preparedness messages, you'd have an opportunity to share this game with them. The only thing missing, as a matter of fact, is just the funding to bring it to the printer, get it all printed up, and send a deck out to you. If you'd like to partner with me to create this family game experience and get a copy or two for your own family as well, please consider making a pledge towards the goal needed to get this project printed. 
I have rewards set at many different levels, including the chance to appear on one of the cards if you're so inclined. And that's it. The links are below. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.